Greetings. I am Jose Luis Crespo, parishioner of St. Catherine Labore in San Diego. And I'm blessed to share my reflection of the readings. In today's gospel, Jesus warns his disciples about the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. Jesus' disciples mistakenly conclude that Jesus said this because they had forgotten to bring bread for their journey. Jesus was incredulous about their lack of understanding that after witnessing Jesus' feeding of thousands with a few loaves and fishes and picking up wicker baskets full of fragments after each occasion, that they should now be concluding that Jesus was worried because they had no bread. But let's go back to Jesus' initial enjoiner at the beginning of this gospel. Watch out, guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. What was that all about? I'm not a baker or a cook, and I know very little about leaven, but a reflection I recently read says, everyone who bakes bread knows the effect of just a little leaven, such as yeast, in the dough. Add just a little bit, and it affects the whole loaf. If a child is helping with the baking, this child may return several times, watching the dough rise little by little. And it can become a fascinating thing to watch. And it all resulted from just this little yeast. Jesus was referring to the Pharisees and Herod's use of subtle words meant to sow errors and confusion among Jesus' followers. We have all encountered our own Pharisees and Herods of our time. We may have heard something said on radio or television which may have started us thinking about or even doubting our beliefs. These little words or insinuations that, that just like the little bit of leaven may cause a small dent on our shield of faith that in time grows into a major fissure that leads us to abandon our faith altogether. That's the leaven that Jesus was warning us about. Those little words that are meant to infiltrate our minds and that if we are not careful, end up destroying our faith in Jesus. But what about us? Have we ever been a source of this type of leaven in our lives? To this I enjoin my fellow lectors, proclaimers of the word, to be careful and be exact about the words we proclaim. Let us not let our minds think ahead and substitute our own words for the words of Scripture, lest we inadvertently change the meaning of Scripture's message, thereby sowing seeds of doubt in our listeners. It is a great privilege to be a proclaimer of the Word, but with it comes enormous responsibility. And so let us pray, dear Father in heaven, we pray for a profound understanding of your word so that no leaven from the Pharisees and Herods of our time may ever cause us to be separated from you. We ask this through our Son, our Lord Jesus Christ.